Hey guys, in today's video, I'll show you how to make normal characters playable in Infinity Time in Frosty Editor for PVZDB2. First, type Endless Ops into the search bar. Open the gameplay folder. Open game modes. Single click setting setups. And open setting setup Endless Ops. Open the property connections. Remove connection 0. And connection 6. Open connection 7, and change the source field to over in 0. Do the same for connection 8. Once you're done, open game mode prefabs, single click endless ops, and open game mode logic last and endless ops. Open the event connections, scroll down, open connection 35, and change the source event to A is less than B. Copy this event and paste it into the source events of the following three connections. After you finish with that, open the Levels folder, open Level Endless Time Void, single click Endless Ops, and open Layer 1. Open the objects, and start scrolling until you find Item 234. Open it. Change the damage value to zero, and you're done. Make sure to save the project. I'll call this one Better Infinity Time. Let's launch the game to see if we can play as any class in Infinity Time. So I'm going to start a match of Infinity Time. I can select a character, and it will take a little while to load in. And would you look at that, I'm in Infinity Time as a scuba soldier. Special thanks to Alley Jax for helping me figure out how to do this. So that concludes this second tutorial on Infinity Time. I've been thinking about doing a third one, which would focus on polishing the mode. Would you guys like that? Let me know in the comments.